Okay. Again, as I said, do not be surprised. Oh, look at the barrel setting up on fire, though. Yo. Oh, but that does mean that you lose the barrel and you have to relight it again with food. Ah. I gotta tell you, I cannot get enough of this title menu for this game. This is just gorgeous freaking pixel art. I know I talked about it last time, but I'm gonna talk about it more again here today. Welcome back to the Until We Die full release. Now, this will be available to you guys June 3rd, but I now have a copy of the full game to show off to you. So, because you guys enjoyed so much of the demo video that I put out, not actually have the full game, maybe there's a bit more balancing since then, we could probably check it out a bit more in depth and put out a couple of videos before the full release on June 3rd to show you more of the game, more of the classes, etc, etc. For now, let's actually get underway here. If you guys do enjoy this, want to see some more, you know exactly what to do. We shall come back and do more of this here. So, as you recall with the demos, only survived for seven days, right? Um, I didn't even unlock the engineer class because I didn't feel like we needed it for just a seven day little demo. But here today we shall be unlocking the engineer because we have to survive for 30 days before the arrival of our main forces. And getting this done, we'll open up more of our metro sections and more missions, more enemies, more classes, etc, etc. So, um, because I'm not sure about the meta for this game, I'm gonna stick to norm, or at least until we learn it. I expect to probably die. <laughs> not too far into it. This is a very difficult game, and I feel it was mainly because of the balancing, so it's gonna be really come down to how the balancing is for the game. And also just learn the meta. It's like Kingdom after all, right? In Kingdom, you lost a couple of times before you finally got it. But we are arriving here as we did last time with our friend. With his cart on fire. Would you help me get it out? There's some scrap I can fix the handcar. Right. Huh. Artem, who do we have here? Artem. <laughs> Vladimir, of course, we need a Vladimir. Uh -uh. It's like, huh? Were you sending me off to- I wasn't really giving you an order, I was waiting for this guy to fix his car. I'll be back tomorrow with reinforcements. Right, first of all, let's start the generator. Order to repair. Three pieces exactly. I can't get this guy to do a job so I can figure out his name. It's it's busting my balls. Alright, hold on, here we go. Fedor. Alright, its name is Fedor. So as I understand, um, some of the meta that I have picked up already is the fact that... Normally it's um, two people per operation. Which means, you know, two people to build a wall, upgrade a generator, etc, etc. And even though it's telling me to fix that wall, or at least build the wall, we're gonna get that up and running soon. But I figure we probably take a little bit of extra time here to get some scrap, because we're gonna need a lot of this for upgrades here pretty soon. I believe after the wall's an ass, we're gonna get the... the shovel. Manufacturing up and running here. See? We jumped a little bit ahead there by just pillaging through that extra stuff, because now we get to wait. They build this. Still can't pillage any of the food here. It's gonna be very important to food because we're gonna need it for the barrels to give us speed. Eventually down the line, we're gonna do to a lot of running back and forth so that barrels for speed are very useful. I have one of you guys loaded here momentarily. No. I mean it at the base. I mean, are we the I mean if you say so, bud. See, like right now, let me pillage. Let me pillage. So one of you boys will be Fedor. So it's gonna be Artem and Vladimir as my workers, because now Fedor is done. Diggers are powerful melee fighters. If you put a digger against the wall, he will protect it with a shovel. They're also good with the outgrowths, and they can also hunt the old sluggy slugs for us, so. There we go. Two diggers. Let's go. Now let's get to work. Perfect. So you guys work over here. We're also gonna... Oh, you're back already. I'm back. I see you can use an extra pair of hands. I can help you. I'll get you volunteers of scrap. You give me food. That I can do that. So you boys, get him this food. I shall return. Let me go ahead and recruit this fella. Edward. Edward, you go through the scrap there. We shall come back and hopefully... I believe it's supposed to be eight food. So we're up to four already. I'm gonna skip probably going through the scrap here. So we can hopefully get another little mushroom patch and send this boy off to get me. Okay, Falcon, don't get too ahead of yourself now. I know we gotta take care. So you're not sure what's out there. And what's out there could definitely wreck us really, really quickly. This game, from the comments I was reading from my video in the demo, was that a lot of you guys heard out the demo, and this demo was absolutely merciless. There it is. Okay. So you bring me another boy. You come along with me. And now we're going to have to go shovel this, and we have our first upgrade. So select bonus for upgrading the generator. For the next two trips, the merchant brings an additional follower. That's the one I normally go with early on. 
But I have also have been noticing the upside to barrel. So after lighting the first barrel, one tramp will come to the base. An active barrel increases the population cap by one, which is actually good because um, we don't have to worry about building houses for population cap increases. The ground ignites around the barrels as mutants run by. Also another upside. I'm going to go with this though. Just to maybe, maybe the fire helps us out this time. Well, I'm going to try it differently. Last time I know I went with the extra agitators. We'll see how it plays out with this one. So, for now, you work on this. You get some scrap. We have some more mushrooms over here. I want to get a barrel up and running as soon as possible because you can see right now I'm out of stamina completely. I can't run even if I wanted to. This guy's apparently a chain smoker to a level we've never even seen before. Just a couple little steps, he'll be like, oh. Oh, okay. oh, I can't do it. Oh, I can't do it. I'm not sure if we're getting attacked over there. Hopefully not. So we have enough food ready for a second trip the moment the homeboy gets back. Go get that really quickly and then we run back. Or try to run back because apparently I'm out of stamina completely. Alright, let's go back. Come on, Arthur. So. Both of you here. Huh. You, Vladimir, we have come to the right. And we'll see about keeping it safe over here. Alright. Left wall. Alright. So, Vladimir, right now it's gonna be a one on one situation for you. I need to come over here and probably help these boys. I think we should be technically fine, but. Yeah, they worked out fine. Edward, you go ahead and you fix that wall back up for us. I think we technically only should see one attack on the first night. So, I'm pretty sure, maybe a bit brazen on my side, but I should be able to now go and start working and looting at night time. Just to kind of give us a little bit extra time here. Um, should we get the engineer up and running, Falcon? Yeah, I, I guess so. You work on that solo, I'm gonna take the boys out here. Oh, oh gee. Every time, it scares the crap out of me. Diggers can um, clear rubble with shovels, send two diggers right, right. And this is rubble, so you guys are the right people for this. I think you'll be all fine. I don't think at this point we'll see any more, more critters out here. I will try to get you some help really soon with this. Let me just, uh, there we go. So we got our first research thing here. We got two of them now. So the moment we get that workshop I'm running over here, we will turn something into an engineer, have them start researching some skills for us and hopefully help us survive long term. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna get attacked anymore, so we're fine. This guy's gonna be Maxime, huh? Welcome aboard, Maxime. And the moment you do this, we send homeboy back out. Off he goes. We need four for the barrels, if I'm correct, so we have exactly four. You guys came rushing back here really quickly, huh? Why is that? Find a body? Alright. And over here, we can extend their wall if we want to, and I believe we shall. Day two. Okay, and here we go. You are now going to be Engineer Boy. Great support, right? And there it is. And you get to work on research. They're also going to be useful for upgrading our walls too, so... But for now, this is fine. Next guy that shows up, we shall be hooking them up with that shovel. Because right now, I believe we only have, yeah, two shovels. One Engineer. That's all we got. Now, if we get that barrel, isn't we should get our free tramp upgrade? I mean, we gotta be seeing a barrel pretty soon, right? I think if we bring this down and get that wall up and running, it should give us the next one. Come on, boys, up and at him. Okay. You help him out, too. Now, hopefully this gets everything back here for us for free. I, I need to verify this. It's something that's been in my mind. I think that's how it technically works. Like, if you wall up something ahead of you, everything behind you gets automatically collected. But let's double check. If that's really the case, and that's going to be um, definitely one of those meta things you definitely want to use in your advantage for surviving in the future. Why spend time collecting stuff when you can just build a wall in front of it and everything behind automatically becomes yours. Alright, it's going to be our next shovel boy right there. Okay, and there's a barrel. And we are going to get a barrel, uh, an extra boy from the barrel. Limit increased. There he is. Excellent. You guys are back here already? Good. And let's go ahead and get my regeneration back. You guys alright? Hero goes into danger mode, right? 
Let's just get my stamina back over here. And this is the reason why we need these barrels, because of our terrible stamina otherwise. This could use a fix, unfortunately. We don't have any boy that could fix right now. Let me push on to the left. I just want to see what's up here. We have another one of those things that we have to have the shovel boys clear out for us. But keep in mind that I've mentioned I want to go three and three. I don't want to push out too, too far ahead. Unless we really have to. So right now I want to start focusing on the right hand side a bit. Um, We have 11 scrap. We can make that increase, but I don't think we need to worry much about it right now. Edward, a little bit halfway done through that. Oh, we actually have enough? I was not aware of that. I thought I used up what I had left over for um, the barrel. Okay, well, that makes me happy. We're being attacked on the left-hand side right now. I think they should be fine, even without us being there. Because they can't always retreat and it'll be fine. So you work on getting a bit more food. At this point, considering how late into the day it is, and it's only day two, we probably won't see an attack on the right-hand side at this point now. So if that's the case, you come along with me as well. Give him a hand. And again, Falcon, didn't you say about his clearing up? Yeah, that's true. We probably shouldn't be focusing on the mushrooms, considering if we apparently build a wall, we grab this area anyway. So this would be wall number two. Make it happen. And do it. Let's pick up the stamina. Kind of want to grab that over there, but that's fine. Oh, you know what, though? In order for the rubble, we need two shovel boys. I mean, I'll put one for now. I think you'll be fine. They should not attack at that point. Um, you focus on this, and I shall return with hopefully more people to give you a hand. Let's have you focus on this. I mean, maybe we could just have both of them work on that after all. We don't necessarily have to, you know. Diggers gather supplies faster. Perfect. We don't necessarily have to build this wall. We can just have it ready for in the future. Once we're ready to move it, we'll be fine. You are going to come and fix walls for me here really quickly. Once you are done. Loading. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on. Stamina, stamina. And we have enough. So you, Edward, back to it. Work on this. Mmm... I'm going to turn you into the shovel guy and the guy on the right hand side that doesn't have a job, I'm going to keep him around so he can be our fixer. So for now we just wait with Taras here. So you become the extra shovel boy. And let's rush over through here. Let me get my stamina back. Pretty sure they probably brought down that rubble on the right hand side. Um, that wall on the left has to be fixed though. Oh, it hasn't happened. I almost want to stay here. You guys are going to retreat to the wall afterwards, right? Imagine you would. I mean, even the wall that gets brought down on the left-hand side, they still got two more to retreat back to. So I think I'll just probably stick through here. Here we go. We could actually increase it right now. Do we have enough time right now? I mean, try it. This is risky. I'm not sure about building this late in here. Especially with, um... Well, with a builder and a regular dupe, we'll see how it plays out. I think we should be able to get it in time. And this will give us another upgrade as well. So three days in, three walls on each side. Not too bad. We're actually doing really, really good. Left-hand side wall. Do not be surprised if that wall drops right now. But because of this, we might, might be able to hold it off. So last time I went with the flash trap, a light noise trap is placed at each wall. The trap is triggered when the wall's health falls below 40% and stuns enemies for a short time. I mean, right now, that wall on the left-hand side is indeed under 40%, so... That would be an instant trigger for that. Barbed wire mutants take one point of damage for every two seconds inside the barrage line. Uh, I'm going to go with the flash traps again. Perfect. Now, here's what you guys do. What the hell just happened? Survivors can hide in rooms? What are you talking about? You come with me. You guys stay through there. This will be... Ooh, ooh. No, 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 Falcon. Falcon, don't be greedy. Remember? If you can get to the left-hand side wall with this guy, he could probably fix it. And we don't have to worry about losing. You can take that food. Bring some more boys for me. Oh, stamina. Come on. Come on. Come on. The wall's still holding up. I'm surprised. Maybe we just haven't been attacked yet. Left wall's destroyed. Okay. Again. As I said, do not be surprised. Oh, look at the barrel setting up on fire, though. Yo. Oh, but that does mean that you lose the barrel and you have to relight it again with food. Ah. Uh... I guess there has to be a trade-off after all. Does that hurt me if I walk through it? I don't want to risk it. 
<laughs> I just don't want to risk it. So, you get to work over here. Had we gotten here on time, maybe we could have held it off and not lose the wall. But again, it's only one to fix it. What it hurts more is just actually losing the, the barrel. Because now I don't have enough food to relight this. There was a couple of shrooms up here, though. Or am I wrong about this? Yes, there was. So we could relight it from this guy. So you guys work on this. Let's pick up a bit more scrap. We could build this wall right now. But then it's going to push us beyond what we do need at the moment. So perhaps we hold off. Somebody, uh... Go to that body, please. Any pods that I have to worry about? Here's another one of those droppers. Well, we're going to need some food when Homeboy gets back, so we might as well. I mean, i got to find out what my population cap is at right now at the moment, too. I know it normally shows up in the upper right corner. But it's mostly when you're closer to the base. Okay. So we're almost up to another recruit. Work on this. And since you're freed up, you get me that. You, Engineer. And I believe it also costs to get the upgrade in there, obviously, but... Technology Research. You can now build more durable walls. Just in time, too, because I was about to come over here and find out we can because we hadn't done the research, but now the research is done. It all worked out beautifully. So you... Upgrade that. Let's get our stamina. We're gonna run to the right-hand side and do the same over there. Oh, no, wait, wait, no, we have to wait for you to be finished. Unless I turn... You know what? The guy who just came? Oh, we don't have an extra... We have one coming up. We don't have one right now. Although, you're currently free at the moment. But I think it's probably best to have you researching at all times. Yeah. So, do this. I'm not gonna turn you into a... We're a 7 of 10. Four uh, shields, two engineers. One which is researching, and the other one's gonna help us with the upgrades and fixes. So... Night is almost here. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You're done here? Perfect. So here's what I want you to do. You boys... Focus on these walls. You hang out with me and I get my stamina. We run to the right-hand side, upgrade that wall, and then we'll be good. And then the next day we can start going back out and doing some more looting. So you focus on that. You go ahead. We have four left over for an extra barrel. Um, do we make him an engineer or a fire? I think we make him another engineer. So we have a fixer on both sides, along with two shovel boys on both sides. I think that works. Although we have to. Be quicker about this. Uh, I'll loot you later. Go for it. Fog is, um... Left wall. Okay, left wall. Good, 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 good. Come on. Come on, dude. There it is. We gotta win lose anything. We're fine. I mean, meanwhile, let's uh, get you boys doing something, though, huh? Preferably over here. Uh-huh. We got some potties over here. Let's bring those down. And we'll probably clear that outgrowth right now as well. My shovel boys are perfect for that after. Okay. Do I have to guard you or you'll be fine? No defenses? I think they'll be fine. You need to turn into an engineer. So by this point, the wrench definitely has to be there. And on the right-hand side, we already have engineer and two shield boys there. So that side is good. We just need to get to reinforce our left-hand side right now. By destroying one growth, others will evolve faster and spawn additional eggs. Creatures are spawned from eggs by night. During the final wave, oh yeah, yeah. So I'm not sure if, like, you know... Maybe, like, the meta for that one. Like, is it, like, you know, should we burst those? Should we just nod? Should we wait? Does it make it easier beforehand? Does it make it more difficult later? You know, it's just one of those things where you just gotta figure out the meta for it first. Uh, Matve, you do that. You definitely have to... Mm, do we upgrade a level 2 here, thinking? Yeah, I don't see why we should not. Sure, you do this. But again, his ultimate goal is going to be hanging on the left-hand side with the Shovel Boys. Speaking of the Shovel Boys, you should probably go pick them up right now. I imagine they're done with that outgrowth already. Yes, they are. And more mushrooms, huh? Might as well pick those up. And we have additional loot here, more mushrooms, and a spawning point as well. Well, they do upgrade, or at least they do dig faster now, right? Because we got that one thing researched. So, 
let's get the extra booty here. I don't think we'll probably have enough time for that mushroom, and even if we did, I'm worried that this thing might drop something on me. But hell, let's try it. Living dangerously here. Now, afterwards, I'm going to go pick up Engineer Guy from the right-hand side, bring him down a level. Technology research. You can build a warehouse. The merchant will leave more scrap. The speed of looting scrap near the warehouse is doubled. Mm-hmm. Near the warehouse. Okay. okay. Huh. Ready? Let's go. Let's go back. Left-hand side, I hope for now, has been fortified. We brought that an outgrowth, which might trigger even stronger dudes to show up. There is that, but so be it. Edward, we need two more research for you to work. Um, let's pay you to send me another guy back. And two more here, we said. Warehouse. Do we get this warehouse now, you think? I mean, if we do, it's going to be 12. We're going to have four left. I'm not sure if four is enough for an upgrade. But I guess we'll find out. Mutant spider by left wall. Okay. Do we go there and help now, you think? I don't know. I'm going to try. The wall's yellow. I don't want to lose this barrel again. I've, I've had enough of losing this barrel over and over. He's fixing. Yeah, I think they're fine. By the right wall. Oh! Somebody shot something at me. You saw that? I saw something shoot. Somebody took a shot to the face. Right hand wall is being worked as well. Hopefully. Oh, it's been fixed again. Perfect. Alright, so right hand wall is fine. You guys fine over here? Flash trap! Yeah! Oh, you better fix that quickly, dude. Should we just leave this guy here? I'm gonna bring him with me. I think we should be fine holding off there. I think. I'm not sure what this warehouse does, by the way. I just built it just because we had the scrap, and I'm curious. I mean, one way to learn what this game is just build and see what happens. Yeah, right hand held up pretty fine. So it just means that we were just taking more attack from the left hand side, and the wall's been fixed already back there, too. So we're good for day number, or at least night number five, too. Um, if that's the case, I think we're all free to move forward. We got more mushrooms here, more mushrooms here. I kind of want to start working on this and maybe expand more if we can. Um, we need more research right now points to get the engineer working. So, I mean, you guys might as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, engineer can't scavenge, unfortunately. I need to find a couple of extra bodies or whenever homeboy shows up with the next order of um, workers. He'll drop double the research. So we're up to five and then we can get the next level being researched over. Okay, well, you know what? Six nights in, I think this is a perfect spot for us to wrap up here for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you are enjoying, let me know. We'll come back and keep doing more of this. I'm already digging it. I think we have a fairly good, fairly good run happening over here. Nice reinforcements. I got a nice little spread out of dudes, and I think I'm not overexpanding too much and it causes problems. But again, it's only going to get worse. We have to survive for 30 days after all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time.